invasive pest. Citizens of New York are waging a war. Encouraged by scientists. Show us how your lantern swapper works. The enemy, the invasive lanternfly, not moth, not fly, this relative of cicadas and aphids reproduces rapidly and has a voracious appetite. They have this mouth part that's shaped like a straw, and they stick that straw into the plant. Found in Asia, officials believe it came over in a shipment of cut stone. First spotted in Pennsylvania in 2014, it has already caused millions in damage, spreading to several other states. The thing is, this uh, insect can lay eggs pretty much on any surface, uh, rocks, even your car. So if you're not careful, you may have a, you know, a mass of eggs on your car and uh, carry it to Canada. It hasn't been found north of the border yet, but experts worry it's only a matter of time. A concern for vineyards in Niagara. In this region would be a disaster. Experts say climate change is worsening the issue of invasive species. It's very possible that the places where we think that this insect could not possibly thrive will become warmer as a result of climate change and they'll do just fine there. It's why Washington state is quickly trying to figure out where this came from. A giant atlas moth in Bellevue, the first time in the U.S. Is this just a one-off that escaped somewhere or is there potentially a population trying to reproduce here? It has the wingspan of a dinner plate. From tropical parts of Asia, adult moths don't have mouths, but their large caterpillars do. So if they were able to um, reproduce here and start a population, that could definitely be uh, impact our, our apple and cherry industries. People on both sides of the border are asked to report sightings of any invasive species. Oh Susanna De Silva, oh CBC News, oh Vancouver. Oh